President Kamala Harris's presidential campaign made a stop in the Bay Area today to engage with minority voters. Good evening, I'm Allison Henning. And I'm Ty Russell. Thanks for joining us. Now tonight, some black voters who were not fans of President Biden say the vice president has a chance to revive their support for a Democratic ticket. News Channel 8's Georgia MacArthur joins us live on what the Harris campaign is doing to gain their support in Hillsborough County, Georgia. Ty and Allison, today's campaign event was a roundtable discussion for a candid conversation on the challenges black voters here in Tampa face with a specific focus on hearing from black men. As Vice President Kamala Harris ramps up her presidential campaign, she's working to strengthen support from black voters in Tampa, a key voting group in the 2024 election. We believe that for every time we can give people in our communities an opportunity to speak, that gives us power. Her campaign's first weekend of action stopped in Tampa's new Mount Zion Missionary Baptist Church to discuss ways a potential Harris administration can support minorities, specifically black men. Well, if we can get access to higher paying wages, the training for those types of jobs, and remove the obstacles and hurdles that have prevented us from being able to take care of our families in a viable way, you will see a, a strengthening um, of our communities, you will see a reduction in crime. Conversations brought up at the table include topics about access to affordable health care, housing, and a 2020 issue. Resolution 568, which was the city of Tampa's attempt to address the injustices experienced by African American residents. Vice President Harris can be an instrument, can be a catalyst to be able to look at that particular issue and begin to say, you know what? Let's make Tampa the example for the rest of the state. With Florida's leaning red reputation, Republican candidates say Harris campaigning in Florida is a reach. GOP Chair Evan Power says, quote, I'm sure they want to try, but the Biden record is the Harris record. It will be difficult to attract voters since this administration has left us less prosperous, less safe, and the world on fire. The Harris campaign says today's event is just one of 36 events they are hosting throughout the state of Florida. They are calling it a mobilization blitz in a state where Republicans hold majority of the registered voters. Reporting live in Tampa, Georgia MacArthur, aides on your side.